Well, hey there, Vineyard Boise. Hey, um, just a quick uh, devotional thought for the week, uh, along with a couple of time-sensitive uh, things to share with you. Uh, so first of all, uh, last week I sent out uh, an update that introduced our Philemon Project offering. And part of that was I, I shared that this was kind of a, a one week window that we were going to be doing this in. And uh, after getting some feedback that, that we hadn't given enough lead time for people to, to plan and participate in that offering, we decided to extend it for one more week. So that'll be open throughout the end of this week. Uh, and I apologize if that created a stress or, or a crisis for anybody. That wasn't, wasn't our intent. But I did have a devotional thought uh, about finances and life in a human economy versus a kingdom economy. And how do we grow in living within a kingdom economy while living here in our in our world? And, um, and so it's this. This morning, my devotions uh, were in... Uh, the, the story where Jesus feeds the 5,000. Actually, his disciples feed the 5,000. And as the story begins, Jesus has compassion on a need that he was seeing within the community there. Winston says hi. Um, he had compassion and he, he wanted his disciples to act on his compassion, to move towards the need. And their first response was to evaluate what they had to offer and to say, we, don't, we, we can't do it, we don't have enough. And so Jesus asked them what they had and when they gave him what they had, he multiplied it miraculously to not only meet the needs in the community in uh, a way that was beyond any expectation, but he also multiplied it to meet their needs, that they still had more than what they began with. Uh, each disciple walked away with a basket full of leftovers. And so that's a picture of how the kingdom economy works. We, we give in faith and in response to Jesus' compassion towards the circumstances in our community. And we pray and we say, God, would you would you multiply this to meet the need? And would you also take care of our needs as well? And so I want to encourage you to, uh, in your own financial participation, whether that's here at Vineyard Boise or maybe with other organizations that you partner with, do it from that heart to pray that Jesus would multiply the, the part that you can give uh, to, to, to miraculously meet needs uh, in ways that demonstrate his kingdom and, and see his kingdom extend into our world and also to provide for your own needs as well. And uh, I've certain, Andrea, I've certainly experienced that in our own home and our uh, our finances, and it doesn't really make sense it, from a human perspective. It doesn't work out on paper, but it always works out in the kingdom. So there you go. A uh, couple other things. Uh, first of all, we, we launched a series in Philippians this last Sunday. So if you weren't here, I want to encourage you to go online and watch the introduction to Philippians because that's the, the foundation that we'll be building on as we go through Philippians, as we move towards Christmas. And then lastly, uh, this coming Friday, October the 6th, is the 20th anniversary celebration of Celebrate Recovery. And that is a remarkable milestone. Uh, and so everybody's invited uh, to come and be a part of that celebration. There's going to be a dinner at six o'clock and then there's the general large group meeting at seven o'clock. And uh, I want to invite you to come and be a part of celebrating that uh, significant milestone in the lives of that ministry and all the people who've experienced transformation through participating in Celebrate Recovery. All right. Thanks. Go make the invisible God visible.